Let's make this part even more exciting. Let's go into this MIDI and duplicate it up one octave. Just adds a little bit more high frequencies, a little bit more exciting, uh, a little bigger sounding. So just like that, we've pretty much got a lo-fi beat here. Let's just do something cool on the intro. Maybe we'll do um, four beat count in. Let's try that. And then let's just run this filter up here on the melody. That's pretty dope. Let's do the hi-hats. Let's filter those in a little bit too, using the uh, kilohertz filter. Maybe a crash on the downbeat now. I think we could make this midsection a little bit more interesting. Let's go back to the sample pack and see what we can add to it. So I'm hearing something with a loop. Uh, maybe we have a nice uh, lo-fi loop here. I love that one, it's really chopped up. Let's try that. clashing a little bit with what we've got. And really what it was is it was just a little too ahead of the beat because uh, this part is behind. So I'm just shuffling it back a little. And just like that, we've got a lo-fi beat. Now, one finishing touch I wanna do is I want to add some noise to this track because we've got some really cool textures here in the sample pack. So let's take a look at what we've got in our textures in Foley. I think I like this rain texture. And I'm just going to really adjust it with uh, Snap Heap because I can really control the sound with this. So I'm going to use some filters. I'm going to use one to cut off all the lows and one to kind of tame the highs a little bit. What I want to have is the kick drum duck this sound. So every time the kick hits, the noise ducks a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to set up a compressor and I'm going to go ahead and set the sidechain input uh, to our kick track. So in Ableton, I can do that with uh, the drum rack, but to make it simpler, I'm going to duplicate the drum rack. I'm going to delete all the kicks from one of them and I'm going to leave only the kicks in the other. So now we have our kick track separated. Very nice. So now I can go ahead and set the side chain uh, to our kick track. So the side chain I'm gonna set to external. So now with a compressor set like this, high ratio, low threshold, making sure that we have the side chain set to external, we're hearing this, uh, this rain sound duck uh, every time the kick hits.
that's pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna tuck it in very gently into the beat just to have a little bit of noise. And you can hear when I take it out, you really miss it. When you're listening for it, you're like, oh, I can't really tell if it's in there or not. Um, but when you take it away, you really miss that sizzly high frequency sound. Noise is really the glue in lo-fi beats. You really wanna use that noise to really glue everything together, and that's exactly what it's doing here. Let's see if we need the noise in the midsection. Not really, because this top loop that we used has some noise built into it already, so we're just gonna copy it over to the ending. So if you're ready to take your beats to the next level and produce music that is more creative and inspiring, then take the Hip Hop Production Masterclass, now available exclusively at Slate Academy, as a part of the Slate Digital All Access Pass, which includes over $5,000 of award-winning plugins, the industry's most powerful new synth, Anna 2, masterclasses taught from some of the biggest pros in the industry, and so much more, all starting at just $9.99 per month.